Welcome marketing chefs. I've got something truly special cooking in our Omni Channel oven today. Time for another one of my cooking recipes. Today I'm going to share with you gourmet mushroom risotto. This recipe is easy and it is absolutely delicious. Up next in the marketing kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen, the marketing kitchen. Hi, I'm Ron Vining, your host of Marketing Kitchen TV. Today is gourmet mushroom risotto. Before I share this recipe with you, I wanted to ask, do you enjoy these Marketing Chef Series cooking videos? If so, please tell your family and friends about them because they're underperforming as it relates to the rest of the content on this channel. If this video doesn't outperform the others, it may be the last of our Marketing Chef series. And I would hate to stop them because I love cooking and I enjoy sharing these recipes with you. All right, back to our gourmet mushroom risotto. It always starts with ingredients. So I'm going to walk you through the primary ingredients that you will need. And you, of course, can modify them as you see fit. You need butter. Butter makes everything taste good. Lemon is essential, and you really need two lemons to complete this dish. I guess it depends on the size of the lemon. Lemon juice will work also. You need basil, minced garlic, and black pepper. White wine certainly improves the dish, so I recommend that, as well as your risotto. The amount of risotto that you use will depend upon the amount of servings that you want. Chicken broth, as unhealthy as it is, is always a nice additive to add that robust flavor. And of course, you will need mushrooms. In this case, we're using shiitake. And of course, just about every Italian dish needs cheese. And in this instance, we're using Parmesan cheese. The amount of cheese you use is up to you. And fresh parsley here always makes the Italian dishes taste better. So here we're going to melt the butter on our saute pan. And as the butter begins to melt, you can add your minced garlic. In this case, I use jarred minced garlic, but fresh would do as well. That all depends on you. All right, once your butter and garlic are boiling or coming to a boil, on the stove top, you will then want to squeeze in your lemon. And depending upon your level of strength, is depending upon how much juice you will get out, you can slice the lemon to enable uh, the juice to come out a little bit easier as well. And then you want to bring those to a boil together before adding in your risotto. Let that simmer if you wanted to. You could add in some of the chicken broth now and some of the seasoning. And while you're letting that simmer, you probably would want to chop up your mushrooms, or in the case that I have, I have pre-chopped mushrooms to have that begin to simmer together. The longer things simmer together, typically the better they taste. And here I am adding in the shiitake mushrooms. These stated that they were pre-washed. I usually will give them a rinse anyway, but I didn't this time. You can cover this if you would like the mushrooms to boil down a bit faster. Remember, mushrooms always shrink. So don't be surprised or alarmed if what looks like a huge amount of mushrooms ends up being quite small when the dish is finished. All right, these were sauteing together on the stovetop, and you would want to test it, make sure the risotto uh, is properly cooked. But typically about the time that the mushrooms have boiled down, the risotto is as well. This is when you would want to add in your fresh parsley, as well as your Parmesan cheese, mixing them together. 
you might want to give it a taste at this point in time as well too and then maybe add in a bit more cheese you can never go wrong adding in cheese and then let that melt in there simmer it on the stovetop a bit longer and you are done and look how easy that is it tastes fabulous just the tanginess of the lemon with the flavor of the, the mushrooms and the seasoning with the chicken broth, the butter. It's just really a tasty dish. So I encourage you to uh, try this out and let me know. Now in future videos, if we do more or even some past ones, you can click on the link up above where I did this uh, casserole. And you can click on the link above for my lemon cream pasta. In future videos, again, if you want them, we'll do baked pasta. You can click on the link up above for our video about fresh made guacamole and homemade nachos. And always good to wash it down with a margarita. You can click on the link above as well too for our baked eggplant parmesan one of my favorite Italian classics. And click on the link above for our storytelling soup. If you request more of these chef series videos, I will do one on eggs, eggs, and more eggs. I love to cook eggs, and depending on what I have on hand in the refrigerator to use up, usually determines the type of egg I'll cook, but hope to do a video on that in the future. And one of my favorite dishes, you can click on the link above, are baked stuffed peppers. All right, since we're in the home and in the kitchen, in a future episode, you know I do a lot of Lego videos, I will do one for some Lego household items, like that salt and pepper shaker. This is an ice cube maker. These are always fun uh, to throw in your mixed drinks. And once you have your mixed drink, you want to put it on a coaster. And you can see that these are well-used coasters. They're actually quite hard to clean in between the studs, but they work quite well and they're great for a Lego fan. In a future video, I'll show you my mock of an Indiana Jones scene, take you on a tour of the Wizard of Oz collection. And if you're a Disney fan, I think you'll like these upcoming episodes where I'll be talking about the Disney minifigure collection, as well as ones that come with sets. And if you like Disney, you probably love Pixar. I have a lot of Pixar to share with you, including a custom Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters mock that I made from the ride that you can find in most Disney theme parks. And for any of you who are fans of classic Lego, I would love to share with you my 70s space and police sets. All right, these are all coming in the future. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember, there's always fresh content simmering on our storytelling stovetop. So whatever happens in this kitchen shouldn't stay in this marketing kitchen. I'm Ron Vining, your host, reminding you to invite your family and friends to the next episode of Marketing Kitchen TV.